couple of Hellions, and a good handful of Reapers looking to do some poking in damage. Hero, for his part, has a few Adepts and a Phoenix already in decent position here, so they will be able to prevent some of the damage from this move out. So Gumiho does get a probe, and the rest of these Reapers do not look like they will be getting out of here anytime soon. Hold that thought, though, because we have Hellions coming in now, and they are grabbing some probe kills. That one Hellion, how much, how much damage does it have there? I'll have to check later, as most of these Reapers are cleaned up. And has does have some Phoenixes circulating back home for the defense. At the same time, Hero, though, is moving himself across the map with these Adepts. And we'll see who's able to get more damage first. As we do have Gumiho now dropping into the main mineral line. Does Hero see it? He does not. This Widowmine will grab a handful of probes there. And some more Marines are being 15 probes are taken out in total with the next Widowmine in. Huge economic losses. These Phoenixes are trying as they might to get the damage done. Hero has come back home with his Adepts. It is not looking good for him on the other side of the map. Perfect timing there for Gumiho. Catching Hero off guard and distracted, quite frankly, with this Widow Mine drop. Absolute madness, the amount of damage done just with two Widow Mines there. Hero is in all-in mode. He's down to 24 workers, and he's looking to even out the score. It is a tall order for him, but if anybody can do it, it certainly is Heroes. We have more Adepts floating across the map now. It looks like they will be finishing the shade here now. These Cyclones will do a lot of damage, though, to them, and Hero was sort of hemming and hawing with the phoenixes here now wants to dive into the main base i was wondering why those phoenixes weren't contributing to the main fight there hero does just seem to be content saving those and keeping those in his back pocket hero is going back home now and he really has to reconsider what his next play will be as we do also have a cloaked banshee now from gumiho continuing to lay on the pressure the aggression three additional probes have fallen not a big number, but certainly not a number Hero can afford to be losing at this stage of the game. And all Gumio has to do for his part is defend. Hero better make sure he has detection. Does have an observer out on the map, a singular observer. This observer is going to be the linchpin of this attack here. Unless, of course, the Banshees run out of their energy, which them being cloaked right now actually does hurt Gumio. They're not in the fight right now, and the longer these units remain cloaked, uh, the better it is for Gumiho. We do have Hero now going to dive in now for the big fight at the end. Is it going to be enough for him? The Adepts in the front. Force fields are coming down now. The Mortals in the back for Hero. He does have vision of those Banshees, it looks like. No, the Observer did go down, so these Banshees are going to remain cloaked and are going to do a lot of damage. Another Observer in the back line for Hero. And Gumiho will just stem forward and take game number one. And surely these two adepts do beat the Reaper and Hellion now. Going to be shading in, or not rather. Maybe wanting to go for that SCB building that command center. Or instead wanting to go for some Terran units here. The splits are there from Gumiho. As I say that, he loses every single Reaper there. Let's get a scout off as well as Hero will lose this adept. Um, but the trade, I think, relatively well worth it. Obviously, Hero has lost more in minerals there. Um, but three Reapers, those are three Reapers that, uh, three re Reapers less that Gumio has to poke in and be annoying with. Although he can still get a lot done with these Hellions, they can't one-shot probes, but they are already getting a scout of the main base of Hero. And Hero, with the help of some probes and an Oracle, will take care of those Hellions. Gumiho, though, now knows that Hero has opened up Stargate. Trying to establish the map control. Gumiho already sending a medevac uh, to the other side. Sort of at a bad time though, because Hero's going to dive right into this natural base. Little Mine does go off, gets an adept, uh, but these SCVs are just at the pure mercy of these adepts and oracles though. Cyclone does come out, Cyclone does not get taken out. Finally, will, with, even with the repair there, a couple of SCVs have already been lost. At the same time, this drop from Gumiho into the natural base of Hero. Hero, though, has pulled probes, so won't be losing any workers. That is the big difference here. Loses his Oracle, though. I'm not sure who lost more in that engagement. It is technically Gumiho. Hero, though, is rallying a lot of units across to the other side of the map. What do we have for him? 
five adepts, three phoenixes, and a stalker. Hero is really known for just sort of uh, clowering together these back attack protoss units. The adepts going to shade in here now. Phoenix is trying to swoop in as well. We'll pick up some of the marines here. Gumiho trying to defend with the cyclone with some marines there. Is it going to be enough though? Pulling workers now finally is Gumiho. Has lost two of the phoenixes. Hiding backwards is Hero getting more and more workers. And that Zelon in the front is taking, tanking a lot though, but it does look like he will be able to clear up this push out from Hero. Kumio picking up the uh, walking Viking there just to grab the final stalker there. As it is now Gumiho's turn to push out across to the other side of the map. Doesn't have as many units as he would have had. But still certainly a dangerous amount. Again, one landed Viking on the deck here. Charge is not yet finished here. These slow zealots are going to be pretty much uh, most of what stands between Hero and Death in this match. Swooping in though with the Phoenixes is Hero. No pickups just yet. Just trying to focus on the medevac. The tank is in the back though. Again, these zealots not having charge hurts so much. And Hero really is just waiting on that charge to finish up. It is just nine, eight seconds out here. And you can bet once that finishes up, Hero will be pulling the trigger here. And here we go. Sending everything in is Hero. The Zealots in the front. Drawing the Siege Tank fire and actually diving on the tanks as well. All the bio has been killed out here for Gumiho. And Hero will be cleaning up every last bit of Terran force on his front door here. Again, sending these Phoenixes across the map. Hero has been pretty constant with that Phoenix production. Up to five now. Uh, but it has halted the production there. And we have a pretty decent amount of Cyclones from Gumiho as well. Obviously Gumiho known for being a mech player. And uh, I guess it's no surprise that he's relying on the Cyclones there. But these Phoenix, Phoenix is seen opening here. Going to dive into the main base. Picking up a few SCVs. Uh, but we'll be warded off at the end. Hero wanting to take his fourth base now already, and we do have some Dark Templar on the field. And again, these Phoenixes just uh, continuing to be a nuisance in the center of the map. You can see the latest change for those Cyclones. They don't have as much range, so uh, what may have been a Phoenix kill before is just very damaged Phoenix now of Gumiho, and I love this. The singular DT just being a pain in the neck of Gumiho here. There's no detection actually. Gumiho a little bit slow to respond to this. Obviously can just lift up the command center at any point. And we do have seven probes being taken out here. It looks like it's from a cloaked banshee. So both of these units employing invisible units against the other. Um, but it is Hero actually just losing more from this. There's no detection for this Banshee. It is just teeing off on these probes. 11, 12 is the count. Hero, where's the there? Finally is the Observer taking its sweet time to get there to the third base. Hero is mining more gas. And this is a very distinctively non-bio army here from Gumiho. We are seeing some straight up mech play here from our Terran player. And who else but Gumiho would play mech against Protoss. We'll see how effective it's going to be though as Hero's already at Gumiho's front door. Guardian shields being popped. Singular Colossus. Gotta be careful with the surround though. Does Hero pressing forward though. Picking up all of those siege tanks. Blink forward from the stalkers though. Zealots in the front and this army from Gumiho just melts. He taps out. Hero takes game number two. It's Marine first, and it is going to be a proxy Stargate here from Hero. Likely going to see some Oracles just trying to dive right into the main mineral line of Gumiho. And Gumiho, another pylon in the natural location of Gumiho, right in his face here. So wanting to definitely lay on the early aggression here. Stargate has just finished up. This Reaper going to catch the probe. And then trying to dive in here. So Gumiho with this Reaper will see. That there is some tech missing from the main base of Hero. Meeting the Stalker. 
is Gumiho. But on the other side of the map, we have another Stalker and a Zealot. And now Gumiho knows exactly what is happening here. He's building a bunker. Bunker is delayed again. Almost losing the Marine, though. That bunker will soon go up. Not before losing another SCB, though. It's already a decent amount of damage that Hero is doing just with these two units. Cyclone does come out. And it is going to be a proxy void right here from Hero. He has been using this lately against Terrans. And uh, I do love to see it now. Bringing back an old school cheese here. But the shield batteries on the low ground. Hero does not care that shield batteries start with less energy when they're outside of Nexus range. Energy is energy. And shields are shields to Protoss players. And Hero has already done so much with these opening units. He Gumiho is supply blocked, has lost some supply depots, some marines, and some SCBs. So again, just continuing the pressure with these two stalkers. These Void Rays going to try to sneak around into the main mineral line. And those are a lot of bruised SCBs as well. These Void Rays might just have a field day with the SCB kills. Cyclone tried to contest the Void Rays. Um, but with the range nerf that Cyclones now have, in addition to other changes, it's not going to be as deadly against those Cy uh, those Void Rays. Another Void Ray pops out. Hero sees the singular Reaper. So Gumiho just wanting to get some more scouting off into the main base of Hero. Wanting to get Hero to focus on anything other then uh, pressuring Gumiho's main base. Gumiho is all buttoned up and Hero has a chance to deny Stim here. Does deny Stim and right away we'll just be backing out there. That is a decent amount of Void Rays as well. They just want to take this fight straight up against Gumiho. All these Marines are dying here picking up the Cyclone. It's Hero and Gumiho has almost no units. Has two siege tanks. Uh, they're not very good at shooting up. There's nothing that shoots up right now currently for Gumiho. So Hero just has free reign of this base, taking out the tech lab of Gumiho. And now just going to dive into this main mineral line. Gumiho is in a very tough spot, looking to lose this third and final match of this series from some cheeky Void Ray play. The SCV kill count is stacking up. Gumiho has no answers for these Void Rays, finally with one Cyclone coming out. Hero will take his exit. And the Siege Tanks all the while have been working on this forward base here of Hero to have a fleet peek in as well. Hero is going to full on ladder Hero as we have a Tempest out. And things are just getting going from bad to worse for Gumiho again. That Cyclone is picked up. We'll get dropped off though. And then finally killed. These three Void Rays are on low health. So able to get a siege tank, but with the Marines in the bunker, we'll buy Gumiho some more time. Hero is on two bases technically, <laughs> has the audacity to place his natural base right in front of Hero's main base. And just trying to use the superior range of that Tempest is Hero. These Void Rays activating prismatic alignment going to do a lot of damage. To that command center, Gumiho forcing to pick it up, forced to pick it up. And so far, the damage not enough against that bunker, but uh, Gumiho, in repairing this bunker, those are SCVs off the mineral line, and those are minerals being spent on repairs. We'll start losing a couple more SCVs as well. I love this aggression here from Hero. He is on two bases now as well. He's in a supreme spot here, and as this Tempest count grows, so Gumiho's fate seems more and more sealed. Widowmine connects with the Stalker. We'll be taking out the Stalker. Hero also does lose a Void Ray. So Gumiho may just have a chance to start stabilizing. We may see also an Oracle from Hero just to give those Stalkers that extra range from the Revelation. Hero does have to be careful with the control as he does lose another Void Ray. We do have a few Vikings out from Gumiho. We'll see if that's going to be the right answer here. 
as these Tempests still don't have enough damage to one-shot the Vikings, but are pretty close to it. But as this game goes on more and more, the economic disparity will just further play into Hero's hands. Gumiho will just tap out, though. This, he knows how this game will end, and there we have it. Hero taking game number three. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's cast of StarCraft II Fight Night. I've been your host, Stasis, and I greatly appreciate you watching. Please also do check out the Patreon for the Korean StarCraft League. Uh, your support directly contributes to the league and to the players that play in that league. So if you want to see more amazing StarCraft II content, please check out their Patreon. And I will see you next time on StarCraft II Fight Night.